Hi, this is Teresa Atkinson. I'm here to talk with you today about planning your presentation. This, I think, is a really important thing to do. Let me get my pen set up here, make sure it's working. My favorite toy. I want to talk to you about planning your presentation. It's important that you do this before you get started. So, we've all been to talks where we wonder, what is this person droning on and on about? Why am I here? You get bored, you shut down, you close out. We don't want that to happen. And so if we're going to avoid this, how can we do that? I want to show you some tips that are things that people that make presentations for a living do. So let's look at this. When you think about your presentation, you need to be thinking about answering a couple questions. The how, the why, and the what. The three questions. So let's go. Why should I care? This has to do with your audience. You want to connect with them. You want them to understand why the thing you're presenting is important. And then, how does it work? The how part, that's you as the engineer. This is your technical part. And what is most important here is that it be relatively simple to understand and that you be credible. You want people to believe the things that you have to say and trust the analysis that you made. And then at the end, people want to know, what is it that you need from me? What role do I play in this? As you get started with your presentation, you want to think about where am I going with this? What is the thing I'm trying to look for? Am I looking for venture capital? Am I looking for approval from marketing or approval from my engineering management? Who's going to be in the room? Think about those and have a good picture in your head where you want to go and who's going to be in the room before you get started with your presentation. Once you've done that, then you want to think about the audience and try to answer this question. Why should I care? Is, is this a cost savings? Is it something that's going to help my company's image? Is it going to make people want to flock to my company and work there? Does it have some real benefit to the world? What is it? What is the, we talked about this idea a while ago, sorry, my pen's acting on the word, what's the value? The second thing after you've done that is to think, how am I going to convince them that I've done a good job, that I've done the analysis, and the thing that I'm putting forward is the right thing? So you want to be able to provide this. You want evidence as the engineer. So. Again, images. Images that are easy to follow are ideal. Little videos that illustrate a key concept are great. Anything that would help um, somebody that's in management, somebody that's not familiar with your project, become convinced that yes, you've identified the problem and you are posing a reasonable solution to the problem or whatever it is. I wanted to give you some overall process to help you in this. So your first thing is to find the goal, you know, everything comes down to money, and then think about your audience. Are we talking about investors? Or are we looking at management? When you do that, you're going to think about what kind of language and what kind of images. Are there things that they're familiar with? Are there things that they're familiar with that will help them understand the engineering problem that you've just solved? The great idea that you have. What is it? If they can relate it to something that's familiar, if you can show them a video, that will go a long way in connecting with your audience taking them along. We're going to spend a little bit of time, I've got a couple videos for you to watch on this. Uh, the idea of your presentation as a story. As engineers, we like to do facts and figures, and that's, <laughs> that's what we get paid to do, we, we do calculations. But at the end of the day, those are not particularly persuasive. What makes them persuasive or helps with this process is to put them in context 
with a story. A story creates an emotional connection and it's something that people have used to communicate for years and years. It works on a very fundamental part of our brain and uh, I've got those videos as I said that will help you understand what this means and how you can use it so please please watch those. Um, your story or your slides, your message needs to be these things clear, simple, and persuasive, and then fix it, make it better, practice, all those great things. So, storytelling. There's a lot of information out. Studies have shown this, that we've been telling stories since Og and, and Glug sat around the campfire. Stories are something that help us put context behind things. So if you can tell me a story that helps me understand why I should care about something, and helps me understand how you got to the point that you care about it and you understand it, and I can follow you on that journey, then I'm a lot more likely that, to then follow you to the end of the line, which is your finance, finances or your approval or whatever it is. Okay? This is something that many engineers are a little uncomfortable with, but in part of telling that story, it helps a great deal if there is some emotional aspect of it. And I don't mean by this that you need to make someone super happy or make them cry, not like that, but it needs to connect on a human level and not on, a, not on just a numbers level. It needs to be important on uh, an emotional level, and I think some of the examples that you'll see in this section will help you understand that. So these emotions, they, they light up networks in your brain, they help you remember what it is that people have to say. Typically, if you're just going to say, hey, it was 20% better, um, your audience is not gonna remember that. But if you say something that they can really connect with emotionally, like uh, it will, oh gosh, I'm not even gonna think, I'm not even gonna try to make a great, example because I'm going to show you an example in a minute so we'll see that. So this is an example of storytelling around design and I'm going to try to hit it right in this recording and I may not hit it right so please forgive me but here we go. So it's around a skateboard. And let's see if I can get it to start playing. This little animation. Here we go. So I love to skateboard. I love to go to the park and watch my friends at night love, I don't know why it's not playing, <laughs> there we go, I love to watch my friends, but it just breaks me up when they break their board, and it happens all the time, especially when they're doing tricks, you know, you're flying through the air one minute, and the next minute your board is broken, so I'm an engineer, I started looking at this, started thinking about how heavy people are, and thinking about the board, like, it's a beam, we did lots of beams in college, I started thinking about materials that would do a great job, and what I came up with after doing this analysis is this new board with this new material. And I know that it can take the bending punishment that it's going to take to um, make it through those rides and tricks, and it's going to survive. And, oh, my friends, they're just going to love it. All right, so that's the, the idea there. I went through that super duper fast, but um, maybe that helps you a little bit. These aren't my ideas. These ideas come from a lot of different sources and this um, these guys here at this website this is one of these sources that I think is kind of a nice one uh, you can sign up and get information from them for free so maybe it's worth it if this is interesting to you especially if you're gonna go on and, and kind of go on to the business side of things but when you are thinking about your talk you want people to remember what it is that you have to say because end of the day if they remember you and they remember what you said in a positive way that's going to help your career um, so this concept of making ideas stick sticky ideas sticky ideas are things that make sense they just make sense to people and you connect with them on an emotional level so they're simple they're concrete you know they're not abstract they're credible things that you can believe you don't need a lot of proof they come from people that you think authorities, you connect with them on an emotional level, they just sound right, they feel right, and the way that we communicate
communicate them is many times in terms of a story. So go take a minute or two and check that out. I think it's worth it. All right, so now it's your turn. You are going to watch a couple of videos. Actually, I'll write it up here. You're going to watch a video on storytelling. It's a great video made by another group that I found, but it really does a nice job of explaining this idea. And then another video on persuasion. I want you to watch those. You're going to do your worksheet based on those. I want to let you ask you to take a little bit of time to let those ideas sink in. I think back if you have had a chance by now to watch any of those TED Talks, but if you haven't, uh, after you watch the storytelling and the persuasion videos, go and watch one of those TED Talks and you're going to see th these ideas play out. You'll see them in action. Thanks very much and 